darlings, today I'm going to show you how I dyed my hair with henna for the first time and this is the final colour I got. If you'd like to see the process and the types of henna that I used, keep on watching. If you haven't seen already, I made a hair dyeing video using chemical hair dyes and I actually had a pretty severe reaction after I filmed the video. <laughs> I continued using the conditioner that they give you in the in the box and I kept using that like once a week I didn't quite put two and two together but the chemicals that were in the hair dye were also in the conditioner and I started getting itchy on my other eye and then it migrated up here and yeah it was really bad so I knew I wanted to try something different that didn't have chemicals in it so I did a lot of research about henna and I finally made the decision and went ahead and bought some and I didn't buy just pure henna I bought cassia and henna cassia is like a natural henna so it doesn't have a color to it so you can just use it um, on you know your regular brunette hair and it just kind of conditions it and gives it nice shine but once you put lemon or some sort of acidic solution with it it then activates the golden pigment within cassia I added 50% cassia and 50% henna together so that the color wouldn't be like almost like a purpley red I didn't I didn't want it too deep but I must say it is very bright um, so I'm hoping that it's gonna calm down so the first day for henna is always the brightest and then over the next couple of days it settles into the color that it's meant to be so this is what my hair looked like before using the henna so I just have chemical dyes in my hair at this point my regrowth is pretty bad so I'd used box dyes and I had a hair lightener in there and also a red dye which had pretty much completely faded by this point I made sure to go ahead and do a test strand of the henna before actually committing to my whole head I purchased pure henna and pure cassia from a little online shop in Australia and because I thoroughly did my research on henna, I knew that it wasn't going to react with the chemical dyes since it was a pure henna. And if it's not pure, it can react with the ammonia in hair dyes. I emptied the contents of the henna and the cassia into a glass bowl. You can also put it in a wooden bowl as long as it's not metal because we later add an acidic solution into the henna and then that can actually tarnish the metal. So I just mix my powders together with a wooden spoon before adding in apple cider vinegar or you can add lemon juice as well. I also made some chamomile tea to add into the mixture. I was careful with adding the liquid. I didn't want to add too much at once because I knew if I made it too runny it would pretty much just slide straight off my head. So I wanted it to be the perfect consistency and because I didn't have any extra henna powder on hand. Many tic tacs later. The henna was still really thick and it was gloopy and it smelled like hay. Oh, gross. I kept adding in liquid little bit by little bit until it was just the right consistency and then I covered the bowl up with plastic and sat it in a warm spot in the sunroom to develop for six hours. So in the meantime, before I went about my day, I showered so that I had freshly shampooed hair. Six hours later. I had fully prepared everything. I'd newspapered pretty much every surface in the bathroom. I'd watched some videos of people dying with henna and it looked pretty messy, so I wanted to be prepared. So with my freshly washed, damp hair, I was ready to dye. It was the funniest sensation brushing this into my head. It was cold and, and wet and lumpy and it looked like poo. Well, well, let me just get this straight. Not, not normal poo. Green poo. Like bird poo. And so I did my roots and then I would just section it off and do my next layer of roots until I did my whole head before I then moved on to doing the lengths of my hair. So once I'd smooshed all the green henna onto my head, I could pretty much just pat it straight against my head without needing any sort of clips or anything. I put a shower cap on to keep it all neat, and then I wrapped my head in a towel to keep that warmth on top of my head so that the dye would work. And then you can leave the henna on your hair for two to six hours. One eternity later. A 
Overall, I was really happy with the red and how the final result turned out with henna. And since this was my first time using it, it was really fun. And even though the roots didn't lighten, because that can't happen with henna, it's not a chemical. So um, I'll have to play around with using another sort of product to kind of blend it all together. The next morning. And here's my hair on the second day. I just thought I'd show you uh, just to see if it has changed color. And I think it may have deepened a little bit. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, see you next Sunday. I'm connected to the chair.